Bed bugs want to suck your blood like Dracula. The, notor the notoriety of bed bugs show that vampires are not the only blood suckers in society. Scientifically known as Simus lectularis, bed bugs are tiny, brownish, flat like insects that operate mostly during nighttime. During the day, bed bugs prefer to situate themselves in areas people normally sleep on. Their small bodies enable them to fit in the narrowest of spaces, especially those related with headboards, box springs, and mattresses. Unlike ants or bees, bed bugs do not congregate in a single area. The problems on bed bugs are even documented in writings about medieval Europe and classic Greece during the time of Aristotle. Bed bugs were already known to feast on wild hosts, mainly birds and bats. Bed bugs were a big problem, especially before World War II, due to the poor focus on cleanliness and proper hygiene. However, the bugs nearly vanished in the 1940s and the 1950s because of the widespread use of various pesticides. However, less effective pesticides and reforms in pest control methods enabled these creatures to make a comeback and again become a pest in society. The bed bugs, the big, big bed, bed bugs. The adult bed bugs are normally mistaken as ticks or cockroaches. They're not actually that big, and they're only about a quarter of an inch in length with flat and hard bodies. These insects can move swiftly in floors, ceilings, walls, and other surfaces, but they can't fly. The female bed bugs can lay as many as 500 eggs during their lifespan and choose secluded areas to make their move. When the eggs hatch, the baby bugs or nymphs can fully develop as fast as one month. Cool areas or where there is no access to blood will prolong the development time. The nymphs can live for several months without feasting, while the adults can last for about one year. Do not bite me. People in deep slumber are normally the prime targets of bed bugs. A person who is being bitten may not even notice that he or she has become dinner for the bed bugs, as engorgement normally lasts for around three minutes or even less than one minute. Bite scars result in a red welt or a slight swelling of the skin. People that travel on a frequent basis do not regularly clean their beds or use pre-owned beds should be concerned that they will be eventually attacked. However, bed bugs are not considered a serious disease threat, as there is only a small chance that they can transmit any harmful virus to humans. Those that want to prevent complications from bed bug bites should spread antibiotic cream or antiseptic to the infected area of the body. In addition to that, it is best not to scratch the infected area. I know it's hard, but try to make a concerted effort to do so because similar to mosquito bites, scratching the bed bug bite only makes the infection worse. Controlling bugs. The proliferation of bed bugs has been a problem for many centuries. The length of time they have been causing headaches indicate that the perfect way to control them has yet to be developed. It is wise for a person with a bed bug issue to hire a professional pest control group to help solve his dilemma. Those with a long experience, a great deal of time in the industry, should know where bed bugs settle. To assist the pest solvers, clients should at least clean their surroundings from excess clutter. The inspectors could be forced to look in nearby rooms because bed bugs have the ability to disperse in different areas of a building. Dispose of the bed. The bed is normally the main breeding ground of bugs. If a bed has holes and tears, it is likely that these contain eggs, inside or out. Pest control companies normally advise their clients to dispose of these beds because they're heavily infested or they're in poor shape. Bed bugs do not choose what type of bed they're going to settle in as they put more importance on the warm-blooded person that's in the bed for an extended period of time. Bed bugs can even settle in sleeping bags, egg foam, or even stacks of cardboard boxes on the floor. And any place really where people sleep is always the perfect area for bed bugs to roam. Water beds are a good place as these have nooks and crannies and they're often warm which is the preferred temperature of these insects. Despite various alternatives to control bed bugs, it is safe to say they are here to stay. Possibly the best way not to become a bed bug victim is by putting a premium on good hygiene and cleanliness.